recent deaths of Terrence Crutcher and Keith Lamont Scott have prompted me to do this video. They are both the 194th and 195th black men who have been killed by police in this year. This is an epidemic that we have going on nationwide and we have no answers for it. There, there's no people who are brought to justice for these murders, these vicious murders. How do you shoot someone who has their hands up, no weapons, is in need of assistance, and their life is taken, and nothing will be done about it? I just don't understand. And the fact that this cycle keeps continuing, I mean, what does it say to black people and brown people about our safety in this country? How are we supposed to feel safe? We're not we're not welcome in this country. We're not. And people get angry because some choose to lash out out of their hurt and their anger from losing loved ones and putting themselves in the shoes of the people who've lost their lives or lost that loved one. And you look at us as if we're crazy. Once you push an animal or any type of person into a corner for so long and you continually oppress them and beat them down while they're already down, there's no other option but to fight their way out of that hole. And that's where African Americans are at this point. We're tired of not having answers. We're tired of not getting represented in a proper manner. We're tired of being treated as thugs and rioters being violent. We're tired of it. So, there needs to be an option for us. That's what it boils down to. Because, I mean, where do we go from here? It's honestly scary if you are a person of color living in this world right now. It really is. Because you're not protected. You're not protected. I mean, I live in Charlotte, and being that it was that close to home this time, it really is an eye-opener, because if it can happen that close, not even a mile from a school in the UNC system, then I just don't understand. I mean, I think UNC Charlotte students have done a great job of bringing awareness to it today that, that they did on campus. They've had sit-ins, they've had, they've had die-ins, they've had, they've had protests, but it's just like, what else can we do to get the attention of America? It's just, it's ridiculous at this point. It's, it's ridiculous. I just, and it, it's, just, it, it's painful to know that another African American male will not make it home to his children or to his family. And how that doesn't just make you angry or doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Like, what if that was somebody in your family or in my family? And you'll never see them again because of someone who shouldn't have had that power to take their life in the first place. As a country, as a nation, it is it is time to step up to the plate as a unit and together put any differences aside and come up with a solution. If you are part of the Black Lives Matter movement or just are a person who is wanting for equality of all, I, I urge you to get out in your communities and it's not necessarily protest, but have a conversation with someone, an in-depth conversation with someone about racial issues that are in this country that have been here for centuries and probably for here to come. This, the conversation needs to happen now. No more waiting. No more waiting.